Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Free Mad Podcast. For some reason my camera was not uh, poorly adjusted, we'll just roll with it anyway, here we go. Um, sitting here relaxing guys, end of the day, sweaty, nasty, sounds good. Ooh, wanted to, well before we kick off the Free Mat podcast, I am at Free Mat. I'm usually joined by the one and only General Patrick Flynn, he is doing well. He sends his regards. Uh, usually, the Free Mat Podcast is a libertarian roundtable style discussion. I do occasionally talk about libertarian things. I did have one thing that libertarians do take serious segue. Haiti. And you would ask, well, didn't we send the military to Haiti? Eh. I think most libertarians don't want us to do anything about Haiti. You should leave them the hell alone. And um, sending, uh, having our government get involved, which they did in the 90s and 80s, was detestable. Most of us libertarians don't want it. Now, I did joke about sending the Air Force, uh, because we had sent the Marines before, and I figure if we could send the Air Force, we could get a lot of these Air Force guys that... uh, erroneously we have said that did nothing which is not true they're actually pretty busy people but i did meet some nine to five uh, air force people that uh eh, they don't work hard but i thought about sending them to uh haiti at one time well according to my my notes here not only are we not going to send the air force to haiti we are going to send feminist and you're like what that doesn't make any sense well here's why i said i wanted to deploy feminists to haiti many feminists are the first ones to gripe they're the first ones to to cry uh inaction they're decrying uh, uh bad condition women have their uh, all sorts of things and they can blame it on the patriarchy or whatever well, the irony is that, you know, the patriarchy failed. It, it, it failed. It fell. I mean, hell, unknown boogeymen killed their president, the president of Haiti. And the patriarchy, which was supposed to be running things, completely failed. Uh, it's hard to get food. There's gangs in the streets. Uh, I mean, keep going. I mean... It, People can't even go take tours there. And they stutter when they talk like I do. So, next time you want to go to Port-au-Prince, you're like, just get a a couple of uh, C-130s full of feminists. I I guarantee we have plenty of them here. We have plenty of Hollywood types. We have bad bitches. We got, oh lord, all sorts of creatures. We've got the National Organization for Women. They could clean up Haiti. They could, you know, they could fix the infrastructure. They could uh, bring positive back to the parliament. They could, uh, they could pick up guns and actually uh, enforce laws. They could defeat the gangs themselves. I was like, um, as much as Christina Hoff Summers is kind of a false friend of sorts, I was like, we could just take, leave her there and she could fix our school system. Or... I was like, uh, I don't see Naomi Wolf. Eh, people beat up her on too, her, on her too much. But every one of these broads that talks about killing uh, men, or that uh, short, the short, uh, she's white. She's got short hair. She they made a video. She calls him you white cis scum. You send her. You know, I'm just gonna airdrop her in there without a parachute. I mean, keep going. Let's. I mean, what else? I mean, what other solutions we try? We tried dumping money. We've tried sending uh, political advisors. We had the Marines. We had, I want to say it was one of the hospital ships went down there. Oh, cruise ships. Because everybody knows that cruise ships fix everything. And that's something that I was like, hey, we could just send cruise ships full of feminists. Because they want, they, they, look, they want equality. They can equal themselves onto a boat and or a C-130 and fly over there. And they could go and do everything they said they would. Like, take accountability for 
the rat hole of the Western Hemisphere known as Haiti. Oh, they could just bring... I mean, they, like, they're on top of their game. I mean, they're equal after all. And they can vote in the whole nine yards. I was like, man, they could just go and just completely whoop. And, I mean, what else? I mentioned National Organization for Women. Oh, NARAL! Some of them, oh God, they could fix everything in Haiti if they would just kill everybody's kids. Wow. I mean, it took you that long to figure that out? Wow. Eddie Wally, wow. Anyway, folks, um, that was a food for thought moment. I, I, I saw that in my notes and I've been meaning to make a video about that. Please, feel free to laugh. And also, uh, hit the notifications, like subscribe the bell ding ding oh uh links down below we have a uh, link to the website uh, we've got a hate email for email if you don't like what i said feel free to uh, send me a hate email Ooh, twitter and gab uh still working on parlor because it's crap but eh, whatever well folks uh stay tuned and watch the news because people were saying oh well they're begging for help and our government's not stepping up the military has to listen to the government uh, or congress at least well can't we just send the feminist i'm ron burgundy if you're uh, also uh, folks please have a good day and please take care of yourself